Okay, so uh, let me show you my, my workflow and how, how I import uh, references to be able to work in Quill. Of course, you can see here there's like, a, it's not finished, but it's kind of a, you know, pretty, uh, pretty there basically, uh, of this little diorama scene that I made for Star Wars. So, you know, if I go to my, 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 my timeline, I'm going to see that there's a, a folder I have, it's called references. And when I turn it on, you're going to see kind of a, you know, my mood board or reference board that I created when I'm working. And this is something that is completely, uh, you know, you can, um, you can put this as you want. You can move it, scale these images, uh, you know, do whatever you want. You can place them just behind you. I mean, this is this is one of the coolest thing about Quill uh, when you start working with because you can kind of uh, create your own interface with the stuff that you want. Not only with the reference, of course, you can do the same thing with you know with the different panels, uh, you know, when you're working, but. Uh, in this case, we're talking about uh, references. So, um, you know, this is the way I basically I bring an image. So it's like you know, I bring just an image, uh, and I, you know, basically I can place it whatever I want. Now you can also import not just images uh, to your scene. You can also import three uh, D files. So. In the case of the 3D files, you can, you know, if I want to import one, instead of clicking the new image layer, I will go with the new 3D model layer and I can bring, um, I can go and fetch for one. Um, let me see, Kenobi Ground, let me try to, I'm going to bring, I mean, an FBX that I have here. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but let me check. Okay, so what I just brought is basically, you know, it's it's like a ground that I created. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna be, you know, you need to understand when you bring um, 3D objects into Quill is that, in this case, it's an FBX that I exported from Quill, so it has vertex color information. So, you know, it kind of has, uh, already color but if you bring something that doesn't have a vertex color information it's gonna be gray out basically and also you're able to if you want to hide i mean you, you can see there's a wireframe on it and the problem is that you know even if i check or uncheck the wireframe option on, in my panel it doesn't change the wireframe of this imported option object so in this case if you go and you know go to the mesh that you choose imported and you go in the in the options here you can you can uncheck wireframe so basically you're gonna be able to uncheck it i also you can put to kind of have a you know unlit as you can see it on quill but also it has a, like a, some sort of a smooth option where you can have like a fake you know um occlusion or like a fake uh light and shadow uh it's gonna, it kind of gives volume to, to the object. So, uh, as you can see, you know, it is pretty cool to be able to just import, um, you know, an object from outside and you can place it. You're not gonna be able to animate this, you know, to deform it. Uh, you know, you can animate it with transformation or interpolation keyframes if you want, but you're not gonna be able to deform, you know. I cannot just grab my grab tool, for instance, and try try to do something it's not doing nothing so it's just a reference um, for me the best way to use this is when I'm working on a character and sometimes you know I just uh, sorry I just go and try to find um, you know like uh, let me see if I have something that I could just take out from other place um, so let's say I just you know I, I bring a character as a reference and I have, as you can see there, let me just bring it here. I have this kind of a, you know, Ellie character that I made also in Quill. So I can bring it, you know, I just use it as a reference. And in case I want to, you know, model a new character, I can use it, you know, as a, 
as a reference you know so i can start modeling on top you can also you know change the opacity so you know it's just a reference that you can have just to guide you you know that's all uh so yeah that's kind of a you know how you can import a reference it's not only the the you know the 2d images but also uh 3d elements to your scenes. 